Afternoon everyone and welcome to Lian Toon's channel Rural Life in Thailand and it's a bit of a test run at the moment because we've got a new STD card so we've just thrown it in and hopefully all will be forgiven the GoPro so we should know in about a minute or so that's when it used to glitch out um, so if it all goes horribly wrong you'll hear a frog in hell in the morning in a minute so where are we going now to hunting hunting swimming. hunting swimming <laughs> it's uh get some hoi hoi garb fresh water mussel uh, and hoi jub which is a snail Megan. Very, very hot last last week or so. Banana trees are wilting a little bit, but they're okay. And since the last time we did a vlog, we've now took receipt of the ducks who proceeded to lay eggs everywhere. Uh, mostly in the pond and apparently fresh eggs sink so and then of course the war is still raging on with the crows or eat gar so last night Toon and I rounded them up and uh, popped them into our tweaked shed so we put Use the last of our eucalyptus. Oh no, it's not working now, is it? Right, I think we had a bit of a gimbal issue there. I realised when I played uh, the last lot back, <laughs> you could see the gimbal on the side of the camera, which is, uh, it's not a common mistake by Vologas, because most people know how to use their gimbal professionally. So it's sorted now, and I'm, I'm back in the game. Where were we? Right, so, the revised duck house or the anti-crow house so uh, Toon and I rounded the ducks up last night and uh, shepherded them into the house and we kept them in there till mid-morning and uh, today came and fed them watered them and took collect the eggs we got five eggs today they've just started laying eggs they're very young Uh, and then we've let them out. I've also started <coughs> quite a, a laborious job doing a shelf or step. Got to about there. Do it all the way round, and I'm going to stagger it all the way up. So if they do drop an egg, it doesn't roll all the way in. That's what all this bamboo down the side here is. That's caught a few eggs, but. If you don't put them in the house, the crows come down and steal them. We did start poisoning them, um, but then we've had a we've had a rethink because there's flipping hundreds of them around here, and it doesn't feel right killing birds anyway. So we thought, right, we'll just teach the the ducks hopefully how to well where to lay their eggs. Here they come. Not the most clever of animals. Chickens beat a man's down. Geese are all right. Nicknamed the boy um, Vince. <coughs> uh, and uh, but one of the girl geese, she doesn't like me at all. It's like a vampire goose keeps on hissing at me. But quite happy with the pond. It's not clear anymore. Now the geese and the ducks are in there and. Peck, peck, peck in the mud at the sides, getting the snails and whatever, and the little crabs and shrimp. But it's all right. It's not a it's not a beauty pond anyway. It's certainly not stagnant. Feeding the geese and the ducks just the uh, chicken pellets. They seem to like it, but they get a bit lazy though. So the idea is for them to 
keep this place clear of grass and weeds. The highest they're making steady progress on the hyacinth. I was asked um, in a previous vlog comment section whether the the water will clear on the other four ponds that we've had dug. They were all clear, but we had two downpours, two evening of heavy rain, and it just washed in through the yellow clay in the soil, so they're all coloured up now. But they're not beauty ponds, are they? So they're, they're fish for food. No, you're not really looking at the fish, although I do. Uh, all the pot, all the farmland around here at the moment, nothing really growing. So we just go in there and cut the the uh, the rice that's growing here and there, just self-seeded, and then we throw it in for the birds. People who are renting our land still haven't taken their sugar cane out. So everything yeah, else. Fucking idiot. Yes, dear. <laughs> uh, don't be on that. Don't be. All right, I won't take it out. I'm showing it. Fuck off. So a little bit frustrating as you could probably sense. Um, this is about 30 rye of land just sitting waiting for us, you know, the lake and growing other stuff. Next door has got the pond that we're just gonna go hunting in. So we're gonna put the standing net in there as well. We caught what did we get last time? We got a bus a baduk, catfish, quite a nice side for more the climb, a perch, bagadi, which is a small gourami, and a basoi, which is like a, a, a three ounce roach. It is. So they don't pump water into here, it's just the way our land lies around here natural basin which I've said before right so you can't see more than about an inch down um, there's a lot of things that you can't you shouldn't really talk about in here it's that temp's fate it's how you've got nerves of steel balls of steel um, tight shorts so the water comes in through a drain underneath the road there come from right over there the other side of our property coming into here and then when this is full they've got a little drain going out from there by just like a little spillway going onto the rice farms so not only rain for a couple of weeks now but it's still absolutely chockers we've caught some huge fish out of here as well mostly snakehead but John right so the way we get the Point is just throwing yourself in there and putting your hands into the bottom mud. That gets the muscles. When you feel the rocks, you tend to get the, the hoy jub, which are the snails. Anything else, you, you let go. <laughs> right, let's make it happen and I'll take a bit more video once we've got the net set up and hopefully we've got a few hoy to show you. That's it for now. STD card rocks. Right, so an hour hunter gathering. Oh. Got some good sized mussels. And some hoi jub. Called hoi jub or hoi com. Hoi jub because when you uh, suck them out, it sounds like a jump. <laughs> Tim's just checking the net. There's been a few fish jumping around, but I don't think we've got anything in there. Huh? All right. I'm not allowed to do the net anymore because I always get it in the tangle. That mean you're not allowed. You're not doing it. All right, I don't do it and I'm not allowed. See it out now. It's Thailand's very own freshwater mermaid. 
Same kind of movement. <laughs> no eyes and say when she smile. I don't know if she smile or she put key. <laughs> See low face, fucking hell. Still not bad. We'll no, leave these to <laughs> leave these enough for purging. Leave these for purging overnight. And we'll have them tomorrow. No cooking required today. No. As we had the house blessed this morning with the monk and uh, we've still got oh, enough then food. We've <laughs> <laughs> got loads of food left over. I'd love to carry that honey, but I've got the camera on. Oh, just try to say that up there. I'm not mean fuck that to you, I mean mud. Shouldn't put down here, isn't it? Look at that. Mm. It was better last time down here, wasn't it? Mm. No, leave it for today. Okay. Leave for zero fish. Well, that was nice to cool off. Didn't really need to get the extra food. <laughs> we got enough food now. Coconuts need trimming, doesn't they? Ah, what happened? Cat face, isn't it? Yeah. Toon's friend called Cat Face. Bit of a play on words. This little area down here. You doing a good job? This little place down here. The people who rented the farm. Some of the farm grew rice here because it was too wet for their sugar cane. So once the ponds were dug pumped water out of here but as the water level started to drop millions and millions of baby wild fish probably about 10 different species so normally you wouldn't pump them into your pond when you're growing fish but because we've got two predatory ponds one full of catfish a couple of different styles of catfish and then another one with bachon and bamor snakehead and the flying perch they eat everything as well so when the pipe was shooting all the water in they were eating everything that came in through the pipe all right vince everyone in check good good ah, and they've kicked the food over in the house not good is it that'll be moody vampire goose won't it Need to get back, and eh? I'm a little bit moist. I like that. Wet. Yeah, so I know, and look at my pockets. Honey, your pockets broke out, eh? Check my buoyancy aids out. Well, I had to get muddy to get all the big mussels, didn't I? I think I actually won today. Cat two. Any frogs in the well? So we normally pump, pump that out three or four times a day. You see, there's a bit of a line forming around here. We haven't had any rain for a couple of weeks. The levels start to drop. Still sure I won't have to eat my flip flops. They should stay half full. Don't know why the most heavily stocked pond is the one that's most clear. This is the one with the buduk in. Growing incredibly quickly eat everything. Oh, they haven't had their um, bug lunch today, have they? 
all the bugs we catch at night time with the, the black lights. Good. They stink, the bugs stink, don't they? Ah, you see, look, all the fairy moths have stayed there. Their tiny green plant. They only put about three handfuls in there. This had about 20 handfuls. Bailey out. Well, anyway, STD card is a winner. Yeah, fucking expensive. Not Yeah, it was a bit. Oh, you fucker! All right, my dear. Let's concrete the whole 50, 50 rye. So, when we're down the pond as well, we like to leave one of the dogs on the chain and then at least one of the other two, or sometimes both of them stay with them. Ah, just gonna show you one of my creations. So one of the bad things about living in Campaign Pet is all the rocks. One of the good things about living in a campaign pet is all the rocks. So, check it out. Real life, crazy paving, campaign pet star. Girls are doing the job, laying eggs. The new chickens have settled in well. That one flying in one eye. Eating plenty of bugs off the trees as well. So, happy days. Borehole working well. Fence. Doing a fence job. Toon sprayed all down here the other day. So that's going to get all cleared out and then we're going to have a path run down the middle and a lower and a higher vegetable and um, her bed. Yeah, yeah. Right then, food time. Thanks for watching guys. And uh, there'll be more vlogs coming a little bit more frequently now. Take care and um, we'll see you soon. Tell me clock.